All right, guys, today we're going to talk about the Chris Reeve Knives Umnumzon, the Inkosi, and the Sabenza to say which one of these is the most, or if I could only have one of these, I guess I should say, which one would it be? Like, which one would I keep in the collection? And luckily, like with many things, I don't have to make this choice because I think it would actually be pretty darn hard to choose which one exactly that I like really love the most. But today I go, or I want to go over the pros and cons of each. And if I could only keep one, which one would it be? So first off, I think we have to talk about the Sabenza. The Sabenza is definitely very high in the rankings for or a knife that I would want to keep in the collection, primarily because the Sabenza not only is a super, super simple and like classic design that just really never gets old. Like this thing looks like it could have been designed yesterday or 20 years ago, which basically it was. Um, so anyways, this knife is such a classic design and when it's broken in, as you guys can see, the action is just buttery smooth. It's like running on glass. And so it is just such a perfect knife. And like I said, it's history, it's heritage when it comes to EDC and knives as a whole is such a good, like such a rich history to it. So the Sabenza is a really nice choice, but I don't know if I would make it my number one. Now, on the other hand, and I think like on the complete other spectrum of the Sabenza, you have the Umnumzon. Now, the Umnumzon, and this one's also in Tonto, like the Sabenza, but this thing is Chris Reeves' kind of answer or attempt to make the most modern or futuristic design, or at least give a user or someone who would want to use knives the most realistic um, like future design like it has the most feature packed uh list of like i guess features in it so <laughs> it's the most feature packed knife on the list and uh it definitely is that it delivers well and of course you have things like there's no stop pin on it the integral stop pin is like this thumb stud you have that um lock bar or over travel stop. You have essentially a lock bar insert given the fact that this has that uh, piece of ceramic that not only works as the detent for the knife but also as the lock face uh, or lock interface. So like this is just jam-packed full of features. Even has this little glass breaker on it which is I don't know arguably useful. Um, may not really be that useful but anyways so you know you have this really feature-packed and very futuristic design for Chris Reeve. But for me personally, uh, you know, I'm not the largest fan of the Umnumzon. Like, I still love it. Love it over other knives in my collection. And don't get me wrong, it's a really cool, I think, very tactical design. Like, even their drop point has, like, a harpoon to it. So these are very, you know, tactically oriented knives. But I would have to say that I think, honestly, if I could only have one, it would probably have to be the Inkosi. And I naturally, I think I'm a little bit biased to the Inkosi because I love the Sabenza 25. I love the way and the look and the design overall of the Inkosi. And I think that this is like designed to be the spiritual successor to the Sabenza. So it holds over a lot of those timeless kind of classic looks of the Sabenza, but then updates it with, once again, you get that same kind of lock bar insert as you do with the Umnumzon. You get the... Um, <clears throat> kind of updated ergonomics so it's a little bit better it looks a little less plain jane than something like the sabenza but it still has a really really good overall like design ergonomics and is super usable and in my opinion too the biggest thing that i like about the Inkosi, which is very similar to the sabenza is this is a type of edc knife that blends in very well with pretty much any situation whether you're wanting to go to a more classy or formal event you need a knife you know, for more simple tasks, this is a really good choice for that. I mean, so is the Sabenza, but this can also flex into more rugged roles. So this definitely doesn't feel like, uh, you know, a bad knife for hiking and, you know, doing some basic outdoor stuff. Like, obviously, you're probably not going to want a baton, a Sabenza, or an Inkosi, or even an Umnumzon, but you do have that thicker blade stock. So this is made of a thicker blade stock than the Sabenza. It is the same blade stock as the Umnumzon. So you're given that little bit better, you know, blade stock there to give you just an added kind of more um, capable or at least more sturdy knife. And so that is another 
really big plus to it. In addition to, it also has like the oversized um, phosphorus bronze washers. So that does help with its smooth opening and closing. So if I had to choose, you know, like one of these knives um, of the three, it would probably have to be the Incosi because while there are definitely meritable features to the Sebenza, and there's definitely reasons why I have the Sebenza, like for me, as I've talked about in other videos, the Sebenza is very important to me because it's a really Really cool knife that like growing up in the knife world growing up in like knife life you know um it was one of those blades that uh you know it was what like all the the serious like knife tubers talked about like if you are getting into knives you need a sebenza right like that is the gold standard and still to this day honestly i think the gold standard very much could be either the Incosi, the sebenza um very much they have such solid ergonomics such on point um like features and just overall a timeless design. So if I had to choose a number two, it probably still would be the Sebenza just because of its history and my mindset to it. But uh, that does not mean that the um, Nimzan is a bad knife. Like honestly, I like all these. This is actually my EDC for today, the um, Nimzan. So I really like it. But at the same time too, these two classic Sebenzas, or sorry, I should say the Sebenza and Onkosi, uh, even though it was the Sebenza 25, are just super hard to beat. And uh, like I said, I would definitely have to choose the Onkosi. Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, God bless, and I'm out.